the halo has slipped for the European Union. Oh man, I think this is just such a funny story, to be honest with you. These people, I mean, so they took, uh, supposedly, now they seized up to 1.5 million euros in cash from these people. So apparently, you know, the social democrats, because they're all in the socialist and the democrat group in the European Parliament, are the ones that Qatar seeks out to spread wonderful news about them it's just, it's just just such a funny story all these moralists there in the european parliament have really shown their true colors here uh, most certainly um can you tell me about uh, the, uh, the the number of people in holland who are interested in holland leaving the european union uh, how much euro skepticism is there in the in the netherlands well, sadly, not enough, because a lot of us are still very much afraid that things are going to go very wrong for us because we are such a small country. And the lies that you guys have been told, you know, that the UK would simply cease to exist if you would, would do go through with Brexit, well, those ones are the same ones that they tell us. And sadly, a lot of people are still falling for it. Um, so instead, we are in the hands of these people who say that they want to protect democracy, who say that they want to protect the rule of law. And then when they are offered a big bunch of money, they just uh, go ahead and, and they support people like, uh, well, Qatar. <laughs> uh, do you think, Eva, that if more corruption is uncovered within the EU, this could add to uh, Eurosceptic feelings uh, on the continent uh, and also a possible sovereign debt crisis because inflation is very high across the Eurozone. In fact, I think across the entirety of the Eurozone, it's higher than here in the UK. Um, Germany's always been a rich country, it always will, but some of these other countries like Italy and France are in trouble. Um, this project is not secure in the long term, is it? No, it sure isn't. And I hope that this reaches beyond the question of finance, honestly. I hope that people mm -hmm. start to wake up to the fact that even when, you know, not all MEPs are people who take bribes from corrupt nations, um, I do hope that they start to realize that these people are pushing for policies that are detrimental and actually are an actual threat to our democracy and to the rule of law. For example, uh, just a, the, a week ago, um, the Dutch parliament voted in favor of a motion with a majority saying to the Dutch government, do not go to Brussels and sign uh, for the digital identity project. What did our government do? They went ahead and they did it anyway. So really, you know, there is no democratic control. We, we just are giving up our sovereignty every single time. And the projects that these people push for in that monster that is the EU should really, people should wake up to that and, 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 and I would say get out as soon as possible. <laughs>